A third of the land in the United States is owned by the federal government and therefore cannot be taxed by localities. To compensate for some of that lost income, Washington sends cities and counties impact aid, which is used to help defray the cost of public education. Nationally, the federal government spends $800 million on impact aid, a significant percentage of that here in Tidewater, where there is a large military population. Federal impact aid is divided into two categories, A's and B's. A's are students whose families work on government installations and live in government housing. B's work on government installations but live in private housing and therefore pay local real estate taxes. It's money for the B's that the Carter administration wants to cut out. Local educators say the loss of impact aid for bees could be devastating. Virginia Beach schools would lose over $4 million, Norfolk nearly $3 million, Hampton a $1.7 million, and so on. Where would substitute funds be found? The only way we could make up the money would be by increasing the local property tax owner's uh, bill. And I can tell you that is a very unpopular uh, type of action in the day of Proposition 13. Most local property tax people feel like if the government has an activity in the community, they ought to pay their fair share of the property tax. Bruno is president of an ad hoc group of state political leaders and school administrators who are fighting to retain impact aid. Next Wednesday, he'll testify before the Senate Appropriations Committee. On Thursday, he'll lead a group of 50 local officials, including the mayors of most Tidewater cities, to Washington to tell the state's congressional delegation their story. Area school boards are now adopting budgets for next year and are counting on impact aid to continue as a revenue source. They hope Congress won't let them down. Joel Rubin, Area 10 Eyewitness News.